फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर एक्सपीरियंस हैज शोन दैट हाउसिंग यूनिट्स रेज्ड बाय द ऑफिशियल एजेंसीज फॉर द पुअर आर टू एक्सपेंसिव एंड द इंटेंडेड बेनिफिट does not reach the beneficiaries for whom the schemes are launched now the housing policy acknowledges the imperative of bringing the prospective beneficiary to the center of development process and it emphasizes on involving the people in the housing and development programs this is a welcome change a welcome shift in the strategy to combat the problem man has always had the instinct to build a shelter for himself nothing else explains the mushroom growth of slums however a slum dweller being in constant fear of being evicted from the land which he has encroached upon does not really spend much on building a shanty for himself even by his own standards if he were to be assured of the security of tenure over that particular piece of land and if that were not possible if he were to be offered an alternative developed piece of land and provided with, with the basic services like water and sewage system street lighting and other important amenities and also offered some small loan on soft terms i am sure that every household will be able to build for itself a house which would conform to the basic minimum housing norms postulated by the housing policy sir gram panchayats municipal committees and the non governmental organizations could also be associated in this national endeavor particularly in the process of disbursement and repayment of loans and also for encouraging the cooperative societies thus relieving the government of some burdensome task sir already there is a scheme for providing housing sites and construction assistance under the minimum needs program and also the world bank funded sites and services scheme and if such schemes are expanded and strengthened the housing activity particularly for the poor will receive a big impetus instead of engaging itself in the house building business the government should initiate a massive program of providing small developed piece of land to different categories of people the national commission on urbanization has also in its report observed that it is lack of building plots which is the root cause of the problem sir today you know that the price of land escalating at an unimaginable rate big business people big land developers and property dealers enter 
द बिजनेस ऑफ रियल एस्टेट सर अ मैंशन हैज बीन मेड इफ नोट हेयर पर हैप्स आउटसाइड दैट द प्रजेंट बजट बजट हैज नोट रिस्पेक्टेड द लोंग टर्म फिजिकल पॉलिसी आई थिंक द लोंग टर्म फिजिकल पॉलिसी सेज दैट एन एक्सेप्शनल सरकमस्टांसिस इट कुड बी मोडिफाइड देयर कुड बी नो एक्सेप्शनल सरकमस्टांस मोर देन द कैलेमिटी दैट वी रैन इन टू लास्ट ईयर एंड टू द एक्सटेंट दैट ड्रोट रिलेटिड सेस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड नाउ इट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडिड इट डज नोट अमाउंट रियली टू इम्पेयरिंग द बेसिक इंटेंशन एंड करेक्टर ऑफ द लोंग टर्म फिजिकल पॉलिसी सो फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द फिजिकल पॉलिसी has been left untouched particularly the marginal rate of taxation particularly the kind of tax shelter that they have provided i think we should compliment the government for having carried out their promise with a kind of credibility which one expected from a responsible government like the one we have i think tax center provisions are there my friend talked about that i would like to submit one simple suggestion that within the overall target of rupees 40000 under section 80c if the ratios are changed that is we have at the moment up to rupees 6000 100% relief then 50% and then 40% relief then 50% and then 40% relief to review it nobody loses the money is retained within the system the only thing is that the exemption limit about which my friend talked helps the big saver mainly but so far as the small saver is concerned he is likely to benefit if section 80c provisions are reviewed for the benefit of people who save in the first round with a larger amount entitling 100% concessions rather than tapering off after rupees 6000 perhaps there is a need for a little gesture that will bring benefit to a large number of middle class people the principle of net savings has been carried further particularly through the national savings scheme where 100% deduction is allowed up to rupees 30000 and the rate of interest has been raised to 12% to that extent we are carrying the economic management on a healthier path sir i am not an expert on defense but on aspects related to industry and dispensation fixed and prompted by the presence of a very distinguished member of the government 
from the ministry of defense sitting here i would like to make two or three observations in defense we cannot afford to blunt the teeth of the armed forces in the country in the interest of security and other related matters stop